Hi everyone, I'm Jason Degos with MSC America. This is Doug Dobson. This is the new Wi-Fi controller from Audio Tech Fisher. Now this wireless controller is compatible with all 17 of our most current DSP and DSP based amplifier platforms that use the most current 4.52 DSP PC tool software. On DSP product with the ACO platform, the wireless controller offers additional features such as volume control for all sources, subwoofer level control, source selection, and switching between sound setups via an Android app, iOS app, or even a web app on your mobile device. In this video, we're gonna show you the basic setup for the Wi-Fi controller and how to connect it to your PC for tuning and setup using the DSP PC tool software. So here's the Wi-Fi controller. Let's open it up and take a look what's inside. We have the Wi-Fi controller and Here's the instruction manual. Pretty ingenious, right? The male end of the controller plugs into the control port of the DSP. And the female end is where you can plug in an optional URC.3 controller. The Wi-Fi controller is not compatible with the director color touchscreen controller. The Wi-Fi controller does have to be connected to 12 volts and ground. A little tech tip for our dealers. Since you can use a Wi-Fi controller to set up and tune all current DSP processors and processor-based amplifiers, the Wi-Fi controller would make a great addition to your tuning kits. Just add these terminal block connectors to make powering the Wi-Fi controller quick and easy. So once you have the Wi-Fi controller connected and plugged into power, go ahead and turn on your system. There are two LEDs on the Wi-Fi controller, one green and one red. In the setup mode, both of these LEDs will flash simultaneously. Now let's go to our PC to complete the setup. Locate the Wi-Fi access menu at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and select the Wi-Fi control config network and connect to it. Once you're connected, open your browser and in the browser bar, type in 192.168.4.1 to access the Wi-Fi controller. When the Wi-Fi controller screen appears, you'll notice the menu bars on the top right hand corner. Click on those bars and here you'll have to decide if you want to use a Wi-Fi controller in AP mode, which is access point, and this is recommended, or in client mode. In AP mode, you'll have direct connection to the Wi-Fi controller, but no internet access. In client mode, you will have to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. So in this mode, you'll have to access the Wi-Fi controller with your Wi-Fi network. In our example, we'll use AP mode and connect directly to the Wi-Fi controller. Type in an SSID or name for your Wi-Fi controller network and an 8-digit password. Save the setting and allow the controller to restart. After the restart, connect to the new network that you created at your wireless control panel at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Once you're connected, you can launch the DSP PC tool software. At the bottom of the software page, switch the software from USB mode to Wi-Fi mode. The software will restart and now you can connect wirelessly to your processor. Once you're connected wirelessly, you can access all of the functions of the DSP PC tool software. If you're going to connect a URC.3, click on the DCM tab and check the box that's marked Wi-Fi control plus URC. Now you can set up and tune your processor wirelessly with the DSP PC tool software.
In our next video, we'll show you how to set up the Wi-Fi controller to access the wireless director type controls via the Android or iOS apps. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at MSC in America, on our Instagram page at MSC underscore America, and if you're trying to locate a dealer in your area, check out our online dealer locator at msc-america.com. Thanks for watching.